Hey there. First off, I want to say that I was wrong in a lot of areas. And a lot of you were right about me. And I didn't quite realize it. But one of the other things I didn't quite realize that I was doing is shortchanging myself. And shortchanging those that I'm talking with. Because I had been, I've been assuming that since I'm not very good at debate, that I can never be very good at debate, and... So that was one of the reasons why I was always just trying to go towards the, the conversations, which I still do prefer. I would prefer not to have to go into some sort of pseudo-scholarly uh, debate mode, because a lot of times there's nothing really that scholarly about it other than people will people know how to point out uh, and know the names of different fallacies. But... I need to learn the names of some of these fallacies. I need to learn a lot of what these mean, because there are some people who... It doesn't matter how I try to word or explain, hey, why are you doing this to the conversation? they won't see it. They need the names of these fallacies or they can't get it. Which, I guess I'm having kind of an attitude about it, but it, I need to do what's necessary. And, uh, because there's going to be points where, whether intentional or not, the other person or myself will turn a discussion into a debate. And there's no way to avoid it sometimes and I need to know how to be able to continue the debate. I can't just, well, I suck at debating, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go. Because that does a disservice to me and it does a disservice to the person I'm talking with. So, I don't wanna do that anymore. I think that's kind of what I've been doing. And if someone is doing something where, especially if they're call it, trying to say that I'm making a fallacy and I'm not, I need to be able to tell them, hey, you're doing the fallacy fallacy, or, or whatever, you know. And, you know, I wasn't going to get back on Facebook for a while, but I did earlier tonight. I originally came on to just post a bunch of pictures that I'd taken recently. Uh, some of them were ones I just took earlier today. My mother and I went over to Point Defiance uh, to the Japanese gardens and just took a whole bunch of pictures and had a good time and there was a lot of beautiful scenes. And so I was wanted to share those on Facebook because I had on Twitter and Google Plus, so let's share them on Facebook. And the first thing I ended up seeing was a post that uh, Varmint Coyote posted on my wall that Lo and behold, it's from another feminist source. Everything's from some sort of radical feminist source, and she's always claiming that they're, they're, they're... I mean, everything is from a feminist source with her. Everything. I mean, everything. I mean, she, she... Feminist sources, radical feminist sources, some really extreme feminist sources sometimes, even though sometimes the articles she posts aren't that extreme, but the sources are. And feminist sources for her are like what Fox News is to Republicans, you know? Talking about sexism, oh, well, come, come look at this feminist propaganda source. Talk about racism, oh, look at this feminist propaganda source. Talk about the environment, oh, look at this feminist propaganda source. Talk about uh, animals, oh, look at this feminist propaganda source. Everything's feminism. Feminism, 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 feminist source, feminist source, feminist source, feminist source, feminist source. Just like she can't read anything else. She lives, breathes feminist sources. Drives me up the fucking wall. Now, there may have been points in time where I have posted things that from sites that post things using propaganda tactics and are sensationalist articles, but they're not focused on one kind of thing. 
you know? I'm gonna try not to, to post things from sensationalist articles, but sensationalism is different than a site that is completely dedicated to one type of viewpoint on a subject, on, on any subject, you know? It's like, it's like Varmint Coyote cannot look at anything through any lens other than feminism, 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 feminism. So, anyway, <laughs> she and I got into a bit of a spat about the subject of political correctness. She posted this, this, this meme from yet another extremist feminist individual on Facebook, and it said, no, people aren't more sensitive now, people aren't too politically correct now, nor are people just looking for a reason to be offended now. We as a people know better now, therefore we as a people are trying to do better now. Went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on stuff. Every time I try to say that Look, uh, I know that we have problems, and there are some things that we need to address. We need to try to reduce homophobia. We need to try to reduce sexism. We need to try to reduce racism. But you don't do that through political correctness. Political correctness for the left is like what religion is to the right. You know? It's the tool that gets used. It's the tool that gets used to censor, it's the tool that gets used to shut down conversation, it's the tool that gets used. She can't seem to see it at all. And every time I try to say, look, it is not a good thing to teach children or anyone that we should be continually getting more and more offended at things. Okay, that, that does not translate to, we as a people know better now, therefore we as a people are trying to do better now. That doesn't translate to that. Or at least it doesn't necessarily translate to that. But no matter how many times I try to say this, she comes back with, oh, so you're against social progress. Oh, so you think that, you somehow think that people trying to be nice to each other is bad for society. No, that's not what I'm saying. So anyway. Near the end, I was saying, look, we're talking past each other. Every time I say that, that, we're, that it's bad to, for us to continue to be more offended at things all the time, you come back with basically telling me that I don't think people should be, be nice to each other. You know, this, this, I don't know how this works. This isn't working. Um, so maybe we should take a break for a little while and maybe come, maybe when we're not going to talk past each other, we can come back to this. And she's like, uh, well, you know, if you wouldn't uh, consider important issues as just people being offended at things, I said, when did I ever do that? You know, so it's just... And Varma Coyote is the type of person who likes to debate in the uh, academic type of debate style. So if I had these terms for different types of fallacies, then I could probably get through to her that, hey, you're slinging bullshit. You're slinging bullshit. We're both stubborn people. I also said that in the discussion. We're both stubborn people, and that doesn't make it, that's not bad. It means we're passionate about what we believe. Anyway. So yeah, I need to learn about fallacies. I will try to leave a link to this discussion that I had with her uh, on Facebook, but I have a feeling a lot of people won't be able to see it because it, it's not... She's shared it to everyone in her friends and myself, but it's not open to the public, so you'd probably have to be her friend in order to see it. So I may see if, if the discussion will fit into the comment section on 
the video. We'll see. I mean, into the description of the video. So.